believe. What? <clears throat> she wanted me? But we didn't get married in time. Fulfilling the Alliance Agreement. The last will and testament of Morgan Ardor, Our Lady of the Nether, Queen of the Underworld. Be it known this day that I, High Lady, High Lady Morgan Ardor of the Nether, being the legal age and sound of mine and memory, declare and publish th this will be my last will and testament. I hereby revoke any prior will made, this being the sole and final copy. Marriage and children. I was married to Lady Melody A. Lynn. I do not have any current living dependents. My crown and responsibility directly fall to Lady Melody of the Elves. She wanted me. Should they be unable to fulfill the duty, the next in line shall be Lady Carm Ardor of the Nether and her successors going forward. Debts and expenses. I direct any debt and expenses to whoever holds the crown. Current debt and expenses include fulfilling the alliance agreement to the Winter Kingdom. <clears throat> 79 netherite ingots in exchange for Eternium armor sets. Seven sets to be given to the Netherian higher ups first. As of writing the September 3rd, 1005. 15 ingots have been given. Trade with Captain Kaya for totems of the nine ongoing. Price one netherite ingot or item of equal value. A loan of one full set of netherite armor currently owned by Captain Max Winter. Upon his death, it is to be returned to the head of the nether. Request of personal property I will give unto parties listed if he, she, they have survived me. The property described on the following pages organized via persons. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm ready to read this. Karma and Lucario here. Maybe I will read it with them. No, I, I can't. I'll read it now. Nine. One fire ruby armor or set or eternium armor set. One total of undying and one enchanted nethering. Netherian shield. So she may always be protected. Advisor Fang, one size, she may call me one warden, spawning all with her skeleton skulls on my person. One warp stone so that he may get anywhere and <laughs> cause infinite chaos. One fire ruby sword, blazing sakura, previously owned by the late Sith, permission to her and Theo to enter the nether. 24 hours on the anniversary of Sylph's death day. So they may always remember Sylph and be reminded of when Kingdoms Torn began to heal. 
karma and children, one cow, one shark, and one fish plushy to each of the children child children of their choice. One fire ruby pickaxe, one dragon's head, and one blackstone crown. So the kids may always have a small reminder and so she may dig as many mold tunnels as she wishes. Wear it proudly, never let it slip and leave with all of your heart. Lady Lena, one book, charged her own. Fire ruby axe. One jukebox and one fire dis Pharrell disc. So she can dance and swim to renew the love I wish I would have had. Lucario, one box labeled jail. One prison key so we may continue to serve as captain, protect the people of the nether, and be seen by me that he is the most trusted. One ancient curses book, one bringer of death book currently held by former knight Malachi. Permission to kill is not returned. So there are no debts and knowledge is kept in the right hands. If you're reading this, I have passed. I want to thank everyone who has served me for, served, who has served for me and ultimately with me in my reign. I have greatly appreciated the support and loyalty all these years. Thank you for giving me the best life I could ask for. I was surrounded by love and light. I died knowing there were people out there who understood me and accepted me and my flaws. My girls, you are strong. You can overcome anything, protect each other, and lead with grace and fire. <laughs> my love, be smart and witty and loving. Don't ever lose yourself trying to be the good I know you are. You are my greatest decision. My heart is forever yours. I love you. My anchor, help them. I will need you. Your stability, your courage, your wit, your strength, your love. Don't go mad looking for me. I will come find you when the time is right. You are all worthy of love. Did you know that this would happen? Uh, I should probably distribute everything. I don't know if that means I'm accepting. Let me em empty my inventory. <coughs> on me. Home of dark magics and curses. The mute curse known to silence a person quite unexpectedly. No known cure has been found. 
but the symptoms only last a few seconds to minutes. The fog, known to whisk away a person temporarily and without notice. A known way to prevent the fog from happening. Some have reported that it feels like falling through time and space. The Twin Curse. An ancient bloodline curse that circulates through the elven royal family. The curse is known to affect commoners as well, but with less impact, usually disabilities. Royal twins, however, are said to have an omen of death follow the children to avoid royals dying left and right. The elven kingdom has put in a law that must throw the younger twin in the lava lakes of the nether. No other cures or reverses have been found. No royal twin has lived a normal elven lifespan and usually dies around the age of 1000. Lovely. The Wither Curse, very rare and has known to affect only Blazeborns in the Nether region. Rumored to have been placed on a bloodline that killed the Mother Wither, the first Wither to exist in the Nether. Also rumored to be given to any person who tries to steal ancient magics. It affects a person by killing all the life slowly around it. This includes plants, animals, and even humans. Blazeborns are semi-immune to the effect given off by the one who is cursed. Other races will be inflicted with a withering effect until they waste away. Potions of healing. <coughs> Potions of healing and golden apples can help fight the withering effect. However, there is no known cure for the curse. The black I wonder if I should distribute what the children are at school right now. That's pretty important to give to the cario. I feel like I might have to do that sooner rather than later. Yes, he asks for it. I should see if there's anything else in here. Marina, fire preserve. Dragon's head, blackstone crown. I don't know where the purple shoes are. She keeps her plushies. Maybe they went with her on accident. I 
She's got two journals? Oh. Oh, one's empty. Oh boy. Potions, books. TPs I'll leave in there. <coughs> I see a shark plushie. I wonder if they're in here. Oh no, cow. Oh wait, is it these ones? Cow, shark, fish. Oh, I put that, um... Ancient Curses book, Bringer of Death book.
Hi. Are you physically okay? I've been better. Um, I found this. Um, it's. I wanted to talk to you about it first because I didn't know if it was appropriate to use yet or not. Um, but I at least think you should read it. actually haven't read it. Uh, Fang had already gone through her belongings and found this, and I said I didn't want to know because I don't believe she's dead. Okay. I I thought maybe so. Mm -hmm. Until I have confirmation, I don't feel like I want to read her will. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's fine. There are some important things, though. I did go and read through it. I won't specify what was said, since you don't want to know. But mm -hmm. there are some things that I think the Nether Kingdom needs... Um, specifically the prison entrance key and the box of jail items that that is a good point Morgan specifically left for Lucario and if no one's having that and something does happen we don't have the materials that's why I grabbed it um, okay, I know Fang had, I, he didn't say what it was, but you know, I know he grabbed something that was meant to go to him according to the will. Okay. Because he said he didn't want it to be just sitting somewhere that someone else could take. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the stuff, yeah. I see what's listed now. It's a good thing that he has them because it would be bad for someone else to take. Well, then I won't distribute anything. I understand your feelings. I was apprehensive to read it too. But I did notice I in just... her shulker box the jail key and the, or the prison key and the box of handcuffs and stuff. So I figured that that probably needs to go to you, Relicario. That is definitely fair. I was too focused on checking books to make sure I had information I needed that I didn't even think about. The keys and stuff, which I definitely should have since there was an incident in the Elven Kingdom and we had to arrest somebody, so... There was? It happened in the nether. Um... Uh, yeah. Do you... It's not about exactly a happy story. Are you, are you sure you want to hear it? I don't, uh... I don't know, maybe not. I do need to go check up on Annabelle, though. I heard she's not feeling <laughs> feeling well. She's really not. And we don't know the cause yet. I had Bryn help me with looking over her. And at this point, Bryn mentioned that it feels like something is keeping her from getting better and said the suspects would be possibly poison, and then I suggested possibly a curse, but we don't know what it is or what caused it or why. Okay, well then I'll definitely go check up on her. Um, there are other things in there. Do you, for other people, such as other princesses, do you want me to hold off? handing those out um they're not exactly personal items more like information one was though to have permission on a certain day to come to the nether so I didn't know if you wanted to enact that or not 
that is, I believe I was told about that one, that is for Silk's death day, correct? Mm hmm Um, I mean, when it is, when that time does roll around, is it soon? I forget. I don't remember, actually. But I, I will honor it whenever, um, that day does come. Okay. I just information I think would be fine to kind of disperse it's just I don't really want to give out her belongings just yet I understand yeah do you need anything from me I want to help you any way I can um not right now I think I just um I'm gonna go visit the I'll, think, I'll give this to Lucario, the key, um, and then I'll um, go check on Anna. Um, yeah. I hope, um, I do hope she's doing okay as well as she can be. Um, but yeah, I... I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. It's okay. Um, thank you for meeting with me, and I will mm -hmm. um, keep the items safe. Her items. Thank you. Okay. Karma's not ready to give them out either. But I definitely, I, I looked everywhere. I looked everywhere. I'm exhausted. I haven't eaten in a while and I'm, It's definitely not the same order that they were in, but that's okay. Okay, I'll leave the rest. Oops. Okay. So Fang has been informed. I haven't seen him at all. I wanted to go searching with him, but I'm sure he's doing his own search right now. Is he not here? Ball. I should ask Anna about that. I didn't even check my mailbox.
Um, I have something to give to you. I got permission uh, from Karma. Uh -huh. um, this was left for you in technically Morrigan's will, but Karma didn't want to distribute anything because uh -huh. we don't want to presume that she's dead. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. but this is semi-important um, since you're the captain uh, it's mm -hmm. the bunch of that and that uh, as well oh. and the half just in case yeah just in case you need it I heard well Karma didn't tell me details but I heard there was an incident in the Elven Kingdom yeah we had the uh, arrest uh, Cola Again. Then, well, they're dead now. They had to be executed. Oh, I think that's the part she wanted to leave out for me, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's it. Um, right. I do have the will on me if you want to read it, but I understand if you don't. Um, if you... I'm good for now. Okay. Is there anything you need as of right now? Else? Uh... No, I'm gonna head to the Elven King shortly and check on Annabelle. I think All I just right. so need to be around. Just yeah. Paul, oh, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi. Oh, actually, here I do have something for you. Oh, sorry, we were in a group. It's okay. Um, Mel wanted, or uh, Morgan wanted you to have this. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. You okay? Uh, I'm as okay as I can be. Well, let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Of course. Have a good day, Melody. Thank you. You too. decisive answers on what happens when they came to see me, so. That's entirely fair. I wasn't looking for a tremendous amount of answers. I just, I, I wanted you to know, and I assumed you may have already guessed, um, but I was sort of hoping that Lady Karma would come talk with you after what I said to her. Um, mm -hmm. As we both know, she's a bit of a stubborn one, and so I was hoping that perhaps if I uh, made it out that... Uh, <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a good idea for her to go see you. I figured she might try. Um, I mean, I was trying to be protective, yes, but I also assumed that if she really did want to see you, then she would make a way. So, if nothing else, it does seem to prove that she's willing to at least go to great length to make sure that you're okay. Though I know that's not entirely the answer or hope that you have for your relationship with her. I mean... It's kind of hard to, um, it's kind of hard to, for me to want any further conversation with her right now. I don't know if I'm 100% up for that, but it's just, uh, it's hard to trust again once it's been broken. 
and we want very different things, and it's taken a really long time in order for me to see that. But, um... Oh. oh. Hello. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, you're... you're fine. Mm. How long were you standing outside listening? Um... Long enough to know that there's... Seems to be something going on between you and Karma. Um... I don't know if you want a full rundown right now. It's okay. I'd also like to just before we continue, I, uh, your presence does remind me that perhaps a group might be a good idea to ensure that no one else can eavesdrop on our conversation. Right. Slipped. I will make something. I think perhaps you've been spending too much time in the nether. You forgot the common password. I was putting one, two, three, four. Oh, um, I see. And then four, three, two, one. <laughs> I was like, I don't know it. <laughs> well, perhaps I'm the one in the wrong, then Annabelle can prove it whether I'm wrong. Um, all right, anyways, conversation continue now. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to go and deep dive into that right now, honestly. It's just, it's, it's a, a lot has been happening. Um, there's a lot to catch you up on, honestly. I don't yeah. know how hmm. long you've, I, where have you been? <laughs> I don't. Searching, looking, researching, crying. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of the last one myself, but... Eh. Um, Karma told me you were unwell, possibly poisoned. Um, or I cursed. Don't, I don't know. Well, I hope not. I really don't want it to be another one. There's so many. I... I don't think so. It doesn't feel like it. I don't know. I don't know what it feels like to be cursed. Um... But I'm, I'm leaning towards the other one, maybe, because of the very apparent rash, but, um... That would have been my assumption as well, um, just simply based on, um, company that, uh, I know is, um, inclined to spend time with you in the form of, uh, your mother. Mm hmm I did... She did request a visit with me recently. I did go. I don't know if that's in any relation. This happened, like, almost directly after that, but... What did... What happened at the meeting? She wanted more information on the ball. Who was going, who was not going, who she didn't want to attend. Oh. Really? She had that much, uh to say. Mm -hmm. She didn't want the Netherians going. I told her that wasn't going to happen since I'm married to one. Um, mm -hmm. And your children are Netherian too. Yeah, but children won't really be at this wall. But That is fair, yes. Yeah, but um, 
She just wanted more detail than Kai gave her. She wanted a theme. She wanted to know what was going on with it. And... Kaya told you what... Hmm? Kaya told you what Amara said to her, right? Mm -hmm. Remind me? Possibly an ambush of the ball. Possibly. She did... Hmm. She did mention something that was really stupid. Um, I don't think it's real. She... She said that if things go her way and she gets what she wants, she could bring Anthony back. Really? She was lying. I that know she was lying. Mm. She can't do that. Or at least I don't know what she can't do, but it's a very big bluff to play. And I think it was just her trying to get me to do whatever she wanted. Probably. Even so, it's still concerning that she would even suggest something like that. Yeah. But that was... That was... The basis of our conversation. Um... So, yeah. Hmm. Well, regardless of whatever you contracted was, uh, from your mother, or just happened to be coincidental timing, Mm. If nothing else, it seems like she's certainly taking the bait that we've left for her. I mean, yeah. It's good that she is. I just... Don't know what's gonna happen. Are you gonna be well by the ball? I hope so. Karma yeah. and Bren mm. are working on it. Yeah, I know, uh, at least to my knowledge, we are planning to postpone the ball until Annabelle is at least of sufficient health to be able to take part. Um, I did see that. No, that it was postponed. Mm -hmm. Until the 12th. Hopefully that's enough time. Yeah. If it is, I hope it's... I hope I'm okay by then. If I'm not, I'll bear through it. Right. But, yeah. I don't know. It's just, I hope that they work on something sooner rather than later. Yeah, I'm sure it is one of Karma's utmost priorities. Mm -hmm. But, yes. Um. So, um, how has your adventuring been then, Melody? Um, f fruitless, to put it lightly. Mm -hmm. There's no trace of anything anywhere, just like Lena. Well, I mean, it's death. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we could possibly find, honestly. Yeah, I was just hoping for something, anything. I'll keep looking. And, um, I did promise I would assist during the ball and I do intend to keep that promise so I will attend mm -hmm. yeah um, before I got sick me and Karma were planning a couple things um, we were gonna hold it in the cathedral Okay. I know you had mentioned you wanted a masquerade so that's the theme we're going with. Okay. Um, 
do you have plans for security? I asked Max if he could cover. Other than that, I assume Kaya will be there. Pink. Mm -hmm. And I think Avant. I've seen them around really recently. Okay. Or heard they've been around really recently. I haven't been outside of this godforsaken castle in so long. <sighs> but yeah, Max well, told good. me that they've been around so Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that because we will certainly need their assistance. Yep. Um, but I don't know if we want more security because of what's happening. Are um, there any other knights that you trust? I mean, I could ask Lucario. Lucario, yeah, maybe. It's just... I... With Lucario and Lillian, we were planning for them to take right. Dahlia, Cinder, and Florian to the Nether after the kids' ball to watch them with Autumn and Willow so that way they could be safe there and we know where they are. Yeah. Well, maybe after Lucario drops them off, he can come back and Lillian can stay with the kids. If Lillian can handle five children, then... Well, I can handle five, yeah. well, seven to eight children by myself. I'd hope she can. But obviously I'll ask and see if they're comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Have Lucario come back. I think that would be a good idea. That way we just have all hands on deck, you know, just in case. Especially with what she's mentioned and talked about. And especially if what you're having is a reaction to poison. And she's not afraid to hurt even the people that she cares about. I don't really think she cares about me, honestly. I don't think... I would never do this. To one of my children. I would never do anything she's ever done to any of my children. Yeah, well, you're not her. Yeah, that's true. Although but. lately I've been feeling a lot more angry. There's <laughs> <laughs> been a lot going on. Um, I definitely think. Um, at least something I have come to the conclusion of is that, you know, everyone has made it out that we're in a time of peace. Um, I am quickly realizing that there's quite a lot of tension underlying a lot of the kingdoms, not just what we're going through. Um, just last week, even with all the things that happened with um, Hazel, as well as myself and Theo, um, it unveiled a lot of things going on amidst other kingdoms in terms of emotional tension and... Uh, it feels very much that just one one thing could potentially send everyone careening into a, a bout of conflict. Yeah. Especially with the things that have been happening. Uh, do you want, like, a full, like, rundown of everything that you've missed? Um, I don't know, maybe. I know that Cola is dead. Cario told me. Um, Correct. Mm -hmm. As well as Aspen and I believe Cold are also um, gone. They're dead. Uh, yes, I spoke with Ira. Um, Aspen, when you when you messaged, um, Aspen had been on the run. Apparently, uh, he had a duel with Max, and Max won and executed him. Oh. And uh, I believe Cold as well. Also, um, something happened regarding him. I believe so. They are all terminated which is very tragic for the winter kingdom they are now down three people um which is quite a significant loss for them um i know era is planning to significantly scale back a lot of her uh, intentions um i just, just saw her to... in the elven kingdom 
Uh, she's she's going through a lot right now, um, as well, especially after the lot, um, you know, Ziff's passing. Um, but I know that she's got Max, and uh, she seems to be talking well with uh, other people, so she's been all right. But I know she's not interested. She's the one I'm not as concerned about in terms of the angst going on, because I think she's too afraid, um, which is probably better for her. Um, that's the main stuff I know, though. Outside of, um, in terms of the other kingdoms, I don't know as much. Sorry, I need to, I need to sit. That's fine. You're okay. So it looks, seems like the winter is going through a rough time. Yes. I mean, and I don't know. I'm a little pissed off that someone got jailed in our jail and then broke out of the jail. And... Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's a whole... I was I was really curious about that whole situation. It seemed like it was just a bunch of uh, horrible accidents, one after the other. And again, I think I understood your stance as you wrote it, that, you know, obviously since he broke the law, then perhaps he had no reason to continue living, but... Just was like the whole thing escalated so quickly from one end to another. I mean, yeah, everything just was. I, I don't know. I was sleeping, and then all of a sudden, I woke up. There was a panic, and people were knocking at my door asking to speak with me, and I just heard what they had to say, and it was a lot that happened in a very short amount of time Indeed. so I I don't I don't know I don't want to be too lenient with our laws I don't want people to think that they can break them so if there's a clear if there's a clear solution to the issue and there's a clear law that states execution then that's what we'll do right Except for Aspen. That was Max. I don't know what that was. But... Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a whole slew of things. I'm glad it's sorted. Um, then we can move on from it, but it does sort of set a sour taste in our mouths regarding upholding the law in some cases. It's never fun to go through a situation like that, even when you know you must do, because that's what's right. Right. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else you want to know about, or...? I was just checking up on you when Karma told me you were not feeling well. Um. And, yeah, I wanted to know if you needed any specific help with the ball. Mm -hmm. I think decorations would um decorating a little bit more in there would be helpful. We were going I I would show you what I was wanting, but I don't know if I can make it all the way to the cathedral. It's okay. Um maybe Kano can come with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy if to you help. Describe, kind of, with your words, what you were thinking of. Yeah, so I was thinking that we could hang more, like candles, okay. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if we, I don't know, just like nice candles everywhere, mm. um, different colors. Um, we could do a drink and snack table um, where the enchantment area in there currently is. Mm. Um, if we could set up like a booth for um, port I don't know how to word it. Portraits? Mind photos? Um, ah, I see. Yes. Ah, like yes. That. Yes. Um, and I was going to plan a game for it mm -hmm. oh. where people, oh, I don't have the original. But... 
you writing this down? Yes, I see. Yes, I am. <laughs> I see. And she said she wanted some notes. I, well, we didn't say notes, but I had a book ready. Um. I wanted to plan a special event of randomized dances. So you oh. enter your name into a pool of available bachelors and bachelorettes. <laughs> to oh. You're playing matchmaker. With, <laughs> with someone new and exciting. And people will be randomly selected by luck of the draw. So if somebody wants to go up there, they press the button, go boop, that's mm. their dance partner. And they can switch it if they want, or other people can put other people's names into there if they mm. want to do that. Okay. If they don't want to enter themselves. I just thought it would be a nice way to get people to mingle and socialize with new people. That's, yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, It'd be fun. So that's, that's what I, if you want to look at the original thing that I wrote, you can. But yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Just something fun, nice, and um, maybe fireworks again. <laughs> um, I don't know where we would put the fireworks because I don't really want the fireworks over the graveyard. Mm. Um, that's fair. Yeah, but, but you know, Anthony, fireworks. I think would find that quite delightful. <laughs> He'd want his death to be a party. <laughs> Yeah. So we could probably do that um, with some fireworks. I already put... I gathered... Before I got sick, I gathered all the materials for a conduit. Because our conduit didn't reach all the way over there. Mm. And I got Max to help and Theo to help. And there is a conduit set up underneath the cathedral already for the mermaids. Okay. And then I was thinking of supplying the winters with more than just fish. Um... Some of them really like this thing. It's called the squid ink pasta or mm. something. Mm. Well, I don't know. No, 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 you're right. I, I'm more so just, I, they've talked much about it. And I also know it's the most painful thing to make because oh. squids no longer spawn anymore. Oh. And so you have to get squid ink by fishing. Is there anything else that they can eat? I mean, it's, 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 it, it, I will say it's a good shout. It's just going to take quite a lot of time, unfortunately, to get. Um, the, there, I mean, there's other fish products as well. Um, they really do like squid ink pasta. It's just a, a big pain in the patootie to get. So we certainly can. We've got time for it, but it's, it's just going to take a lot of investment. It's why our, our ink sack storage is so small as of late. Well, maybe there's something else that can eat that's easier to make. Because I feel bad making people make something that's hard. Because I made a lot of, um, a lot of stuffed pumpkin recently before mm. I got sick. And that was a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if we could make something else for them that they might enjoy as well, then maybe they will be open to trying something new. But that is fair. You know, maybe next week when I talk with Hazel on our weekly get-togethers, I will ask her what she thinks would be a fun diet for the winters at the bowl. Oh, there's fish stew. That is true, um, yes. Sushi? Sorry, I'm just looking through. But yeah. No, that's fine. Um, yes, there are options. Squinting pasta is the best thing to get, but it's just, as I said, I don't... I wish it was easier to find ink sacks, but they're just a pain. Yeah, unfortunate. Curse the curse on the land. I thought you could do with anything else, but just the, the, not the squids. I miss squids, and you can't breed them. Like, if you could breed squids, it'd be so much easier. Just breed a many, million squids. Unfortunate. Is there any yes. other equivalent mobs in the end or in the nether that also give ink sacks? Not that I know of. I I mean, I'm not the most privy to that sort of thing. I, I don't go to the end, so I don't know. Um, if there are, that'd be splendid. But the only way I know so far is to get them through fishing. Maybe I'll do some more research and see if I can find anything from the nether or the end. 
not be. Because I'm searching both areas, anyways. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel bad. Just keep giving him cod and salmon, and then <laughs> nobody touches the salmon, and Max just steals all the cod, and I don't. I don't know. I just feel bad. I keep giving them fish. I don't know what else to make them. That's all they can have, so it's not your fault. We could just give them cake. Just let them eat cake, and then see how that goes. They can eat cake, but they can't eat anything else? Yes, they can eat the cake that's on the floor, like, just around tables, you know. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Um, but that's what I was just thinking. Just, like, you know, small little stuff like that. Um... So yeah, I I don't know. I know that me and Karma were planning to do matching outfits. We were going with like a Wither Rose theme. I don't know if that'll happen anymore though. Well, that's up to you. Mm. What exactly happened between you two? Um... I'm sorry, if it's... Hard. No, it's okay. No, I just, uh... I need to man up. No more crying. <laughs> it's alright. It's um, okay. You can talk through it. Yeah. She... It turns out she's been lying to me for the past five years about how sick she's gotten when she's here. And... She, from what it sounded like, this is just how I interpreted it, interpreted it, she was eating, she was taking these potions that were hurting her so she could be here in the overworld with me. And she was taking them when she was pregnant with Cinder too. At least for a little bit. And she weakened herself so much to where she that was you know how it was a really hard birth for her with Cinder mm -hmm. that was that was the cause of it and she was doing it to herself that whole time and nobody knew what was happening and she never told anyone so no one could ever help her And she said she didn't want people to think that she's weak, and she didn't want people to think that she was less than because she can't regulate her body temperature in the overworld. And she was afraid that I would leave her if I found out that she was sick, which isn't true. I would never do that. And I'm just mad that she lied to me for so long, and I just found out about all of this. And yet she was mad at me for keeping something from her. About Amara. So she... That's, that's what happened. Um... And I don't know what to think anymore because she, she not only put herself in danger, she put Cinder in danger. And now Cinder is growing these magma splotches all over his body and I don't know if that has anything to relate to that or whatever. I... I'm just angry. And I'm sad about it. And I am. I don't know what to think. Because I know that she was trying. But it just feels like all she cares about is her image and what others think and about what about other kingdoms think of her. When I've never really been the one to care what other people or other kingdoms think. It just feels like she cares more about her image and more about her kingdom and the perception that she brings to her kingdom rather than she cares about me 
and I just don't think I'll ever come first. I understand your feelings, but I also, living in the nether, I also understand karma as well. And it may just be a survival habit. It more was not exactly the same, but very similar. Where everyone who was not Netherian was kind of an enemy. And that was basically a survival mechanism because of how isolated they are in the nether and once they step out of the nether they are very vulnerable because of the mm -hmm. rain and because of water and I think order in order to stay alive to avoid a war happening in the nether or someone trying to enact a war happening in the nether they've built up those walls or in Moore's case she built up walls in Karma's case she really cares about the image of how other kingdoms view her because she doesn't want to appear weak because she doesn't want anyone to try and come after the nether if they discover that And that seems to be a theme I have noticed. And that's just me adding on thoughts. I mean, this is your relationship mm -hmm. with her. But I don't... I, I just... I just wish she told me that yeah. she was sick and that we could have helped her. Yeah. And there's so much more that she told me and I just... It makes everything that's happening now so much worse, but I can't... I can't say anything about it because it's her deal so maybe you need to have a deeper conversation with her I about see. what's going on because it runs deeper than just her lying to me for five years she did something else that I I can't go into I just I just wish she would have told me. And it just feels like she didn't trust me to think that I would leave her because she was sick when we first met. I don't. It's just, um, hard. To think that she would think that little of me. What changed her mind to tell you? I don't know. She told me on our five year anniversary date. I... I prepared a nice gift for her and everything. We had a nice dinner in the nether, obviously. I even... I even made her another... Another engagement ring and wanted to renew our vows. And she just told me all of that. And it was just kind of a shock. So... It's, um...
I don't know what I don't know what prompted her to want to tell me that honestly. I just Maybe it was the vowel renewal, maybe it was her thinking that oh I'm safe now, I can tell her. Thinking that I wouldn't get mad about it, I don't know. Yeah, do you think maybe she told you because she realized that she felt secure and that she could tell you? Maybe. But I would have liked to know five years ago. I... I... I don't like being lied to like that for five years to keep something that big from me. It, I mean, it's all like... You know, like, I can't change what's happened now, but. Well, maybe I you guys think... can make a new promise. Maybe. And that can be the test, is that if you promise to not lie to each other and that promise is not upheld and that could be the test of if she does actually feel secure in the relationship if you feel secure in the relationship that's the thing I don't know if I ever will after that I I just want to be put first. Yeah. And she won't do that. And I do that for her. I would put everything before. I would put her before everything, even the kingdom. I know that's not something you want to hear from a princess who's ruling a kingdom currently or anything like that, but. I don't know. Yeah. I'm curious, Melody. Mm -hmm. If you had to choose between our kingdom and High Lady Morgan, which would you choose? I would choose... I would choose Morgan. Technically, I have. I left this kingdom for her. Yes, but you are still an elf. I guess what I mean by that is I don't think your emotions are unwarranted, Emmett Bell. And obviously people have different priorities, and perhaps it is like Melody said, the Netherians have their own way of life, and... I admittedly can't. I don't have much experience with them other than talking with Fang, and I've very quickly come to realize that he's a seraph more than anything. Um, so I... I don't know. I don't think you should feel like you're in the wrong about anything, and I don't think you do. But I also think it's alright for you to keep your foot down, and if Karma is willing to meet you where you're at, then it shows that she truly cares. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has trauma, past, things that are hard to let go or overcome. And relationships aren't easy. There is hurt. There are secrets. But a strong relationship, one where two people really care about each other, they will overcome those hurdles. But it's a two-way street. So I think 
obviously, mm. when you're better, maybe you should both have, like, some sort of sit-down conversation about that all. I mean, I've already said to her that I don't plan to ignore. I didn't... I, all of that happened, and then immediately after this happened. Mm -hmm. And I... No one communicated to her that I was sick. Or unwell in a very serious way and I didn't mean to ignore her uh-huh I told her mm -hmm. I told her yeah you told her and then you picked a fight because she was being angsty <laughs> yeah um y yeah I told her I'd no, I'm not planning on ignoring her. I just need more time. So. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you two can overcome it if you want. If both of you want it. But if not, there's gonna... you're still my sister and I support you. Thank you. I feel the same way for you as well. I, I'll support you in whatever you want to do about Morgan. I just... I think a deeper conversation with Karma that you need to have with her. I would highly suggest it. I tried to talk to her about Moore's will, but she didn't want to read it. She doesn't want to accept that moore has gone, which I understand. I finally read it after all this time because I'm just so tired because um, I've been searching endlessly and not eating and I had to come back at some point um, mm -hmm. but it didn't seem There's... like she wanted to discuss moving forward as much because she doesn't want to believe that That she's not coming back, but I and I understand I don't know. Mm hmm It's hard. Yeah. Trust me, if it were her, if it were someone else, I'd be I'd be looking at her, I'd be waging wars, I'd be <laughs> I'd be doing everything I can. I I understand how you feel. Um, but... I don't know what much else we can do other than look for things like clues or... Clues I've, or I've looked or anything else. everywhere in the nether that I've known. I've looked in the end. I've looked the library top to bottom I've looked several end cities I've I don't know I don't know where else to look well wasn't she um wasn't she taken specifically she was taken and she was taken inside our home correct so maybe the place to start instead of searching aimlessly is to try and seek an audience with the one who took her. But how? How do I... Do I say I don't know. death three times in a mirror? Or, like, I don't know how to contact... Well, I, d I mean, I'm not entirely sure either, but we've, we've dealt with entities before in a similar fashion. We had that whole thing with the Black Serpent. We have inter interacted with the lore keeper in different ways. I mean, have you yeah, I don't checked know. the temple where all the things happened five years ago? We thought about checking you in there. the library? In. Yes. Yeah, I. that's what I said. I checked top to bottom. I, I looked in the Winter Kingdom. I looked at the Mermaid Kingdom library. I've checked all of the kingdom's libraries. And I haven't because I was looking on information for death and I didn't find anything. Well, I mean, 
one thing we do know for certain is that um, there is an avatar of death that appears when you uh, do a ritual regarding villages, and that's something that many of people in this world have done at various times. Obviously, it's not the same, but perhaps there can be something learned from that sort of experience. You know, if, if an avatar of death can be summoned through some sort of ritual, there must be some way to get a hold of death. Huh. Or perhaps you talk with Marina, and, you know, she's the one who's had to deal with death the most of all, all of us, now that she's immortal. I would... I know how you feel about Marina. No, 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 not Marina. Marina's fine. I literally let you guys hold the freaking birthday party for her in our ballroom. I don't have anything ill will against Marina specifically. I... Some of the traces she made. Mm. But, um... I just... Talk to karma. That's all I can say. We... You... Because, you know, our children... Um... Obviously, we're not born naturally. Mm -hmm. Um, we did something in order to have them. Yes, Karma has mentioned. So, I don't know the specifics. She just had me hold things and stand in a circle. So, I... <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought it was just some sort of exchanging of DNA of some sort. I didn't realize there was magical forces involved. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. That's why I'm saying talk to her. She knows a lot about it. Even though I'm angry with her, I can see if she would be willing to speak with you on it, because... I know very little, but she would be the one to talk to. And I can't explain it thoroughly, honestly. Okay. I also don't have a problem with reaching out to her. I talked to her before I came and talked to you, so. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, it looks like I need to have a long conversation with her. If she'll tell you anything. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she will. If she doesn't tell her, I'll be more mad at her than I am now. If she yeah. nothing. When you talk with her, you definitely tell her that I'm still not happy with her. Oh boy, great. I'll be like... Kano and Annabelle are not Chancellor happy with Kano you. Tell sends me his regards, and I'll just send oh, a letter. Boy. I don't want her mad at me too. Oh, but she... I should tell you this: I did say that she would be princess consort of you the Elven did. Kingdom. Yes, you did. I'm. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's. It's. I understand why. I'm more just. I. I don't. You're... I, You're I'm stressed, all... okay? Uh, You're yes, stressed. I am. But it makes me more stressed out to know that the person who we both are upset with right now is in charge of me right now. And I don't like that idea. I don't like that hierarchy. I don't know. Well, I understand why you made the choice, but I don't like the fact that if Karma says, Kano, go do this, that I'm going to be morally obligated to do so. To be fair, though. Mm -hmm. I... Lena is not back. Mm -hmm. Moore is gone. Mm -hmm. I is... am not a Blazeborn. I cannot take the throne. Karma has to be ruling the Netherian throne right now. She can't That's be in two places at doing. once. Yeah, I know. I, I told her it's more of like a figurehead thing rather than she actually has to be here doing things but i i am um, the main thing that i want done i already gave kano to do which is the 
Yes. Elytra licensing. I did contact Nimbus about it. Um, I'm yet to hear from him, but once I know, mm -hmm. I'll get that taken care of. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just said it was until either I was better or until you came back. And I don't know if you want to take up the Elven throne right now with <laughs> everything that's been going on. I could come back. I could force myself into... The, I could. I don't think you should. Maybe I'm in need of a distraction. I don't know. I don't know if I'm it's... mentally sound for ruling as princess, but I can at least help well, you with errands if you need it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's either Karma right now, Kano, which... Just put Kano in charge. That's what yeah, I would do. I, I know. I know. He... You... You he you've been if you, if, if you want me to if you want me to explain anything more, I'm more than happy to do so. I don't know how I somehow made well actually no I do know how I somehow made all of these people upset with me and it's just ugh. Yeah, no, explain that. Explain that while while, you know, just I Oh I, really do, do I actually to go into detail? I, I certainly can try. I can give you my perspective you, on everything. If you'd like. You... <laughs> he made me a little upset. Oh, um no. Again? But it's... He apologized. I... T Star of the story goes that I, you know, as I said, I spend a lot of time with Hazel nowadays, and I see her every week. It's wonderful. We get to have time. It's nice to actually have family that I can go to see. It's, it's delightful. Um, but apparently I went too far, and I took Hazel a little too close to the sun in terms of danger. Um, and Ira did not like that. Um, I was hoping to prepare Hazel, but I I did the wrong thing. I, I admitted this to her, and I'll admit it to you now. I did the wrong thing. I didn't consult with her first about to what length I could try to prepare Hazel for inevitable danger. Um, and Ira became very upset. Um, she had a confrontation with me alongside Max, where Max was like basically threatening to kill me. And Ira was very upset, and I got a bit defensive because I have been feeling very much like a lot of the kingdoms have not been adequately preparing for any sort of issues. It feels like everyone's trying to have this veneer of peace when really it's like we've got death lurking around every corner. And I have been spurned on recently um, due to certain circumstances to try and make the most of every moment I have and the moments of others. And so I, I wanted to prepare people. And in midst of my talking with Ira about things, I did go by name and list some of the uh, heirs that I had been feeling like weren't being necessarily prepared for danger. Um, and in my emotional state, I had mentioned Dahlia as one of them because she is someone who likes to spend time in her room rather than going around. And I did not mean it in that I think she's learning quite well and I'm proud of what she's doing. I just wish sometimes she wouldn't be in her room, that she would actually go and meet other people. And today she's going to school, and I'm glad to see that she's interacting with other students. But, you know, it'd be nice if she wanted to go and go to the farms and actually learn about how animals work instead of reading about how a cow reproduces inside of a book. And so, in my anger, oh, no. I said things in a more direct <laughs> way. And, and unfortunately annabelle heard it not from me but from ira who also was talking with karma who karma was upset about me because i brought hazel to the nether portal and i this is this is my defense and it, i know it doesn't hold much water because whatever you say honestly it, it is, doesn't regard but i'm under the impression that if i give permission for someone to be at the nether portal they're welcome to be there but Lady Karma did not see it that way, and I think right now with things being so stressful, she got very upset with me. That's the argument that I had with her, is that she came to me, and I thought she was going to talk about you. And no, she decided to say, why did you bring Hazel to the Nether Portal? That was dumb of you. You should never do that ever again. And then I got pissed at her, because I'm like, why are you not talking to me about your wife, who's more important than anything else right now? And then that's when we had an argument, and things were quite upsetting. Um, mm -hmm. But that was what that was all about, so for the reasons mentioned. That is why Annabelle was probably still, to some extent, a little still upset about me about the things I said. But that was my perspective on it, is a lot of it was said in a certain context and with not the most um, emotionally stable of mind at the time. Um, and I'm sorry for anything I said out of turn because it was not right. But I did 
originally expected it'd be things that'd be said in confidence with people, and clearly it wasn't. Not that, not that you want people talking badly about your children to be something that's there, but I also would have thought that Ira would have realized the situation, but instead she just used this leverage to do stuff. But I sorted that with her. Everything's fine. We talked it out. But that's 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 my slew of things. I see. I wrote him a very lengthy book. Yes. I um, have it in my in actually is it I think I may have put it on my bookshelf. No, so it's it's not here with me. But um yes. <laughs> I'm giving Kano the benefit of the doubt, which is why I said I put K Karma in charge, because I don't know what's going on in that mind, um, to be quite frank. But if you're worried about people not being prepared, then, I mean, it's valid. I just, I don't know if you want the extra burden of having to deal with a whole kingdom. But I can certainly tell her otherwise if you want to. Well, I don't. that was my original plan to put you in charge. But then everything happened and then she was very mad and I was tired and I wanted them to get out of my bedroom. <laughs> so. I understand. Well, I mean, that is entirely, I know it seems rude to put it back into your corner again, but that's entirely up to you. If it's easier for us to remain the status quo as things are, then I'm content to support Karma. Or, if you'd like, and here's an obvious fun idea, you can tell me to go tell Karma that I'm going to take the kingdom over and she has nothing to say about it, and then we'll just have a lovely time. It'll be great. No, oh, that'll go well. You have, yeah, I'll no, go to the nether myself. The I'll confront her at the throne oh, room. It'll be great. lovely and fun. No, please. You know, I'd love to pick a few more bones with Karma. I think it'd be a delightful experience. Why do you want to fight with my wife? Because I'm upset that she's done mean things to you. So, you know, I think it'd be quite nice for me to, I don't know, stick, in, stick a stick up her bum and tell her off. I think it's funny. I feel like... I feel like we've switched roles yeah. when it comes to this. <laughs> Kano much feels like the little devil on your shoulder, and I much feel like the little angel on Excuse your shoulder. Excuse me! <laughs> what? I'm sorry. No, I just... Well, you know, as I've been told a plethora of times, I'm not married, I don't have kids, I'm still single as a Pringle, and you know what? That's You've never good. expressed will... wanting more than that. Excuse... Do I need to recap my whole backstory for you? <laughs> I once did, but then unfortunately, the person that I wanted to marry and fall in love with died. And then you came along. And then, it, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of things that have caused me to not think that romance is Oh, I thought you just had romantic me. feelings that you were pushing away, not that you actually wanted to, like, continue to marry, like, the marriage. Or no, I, I, I wanted to date your sister. Okay. I thought, I thought you just had that. feelings that you were just I suppressing. I did, but I never confessed them to her. But this is, if I had those feelings, it doesn't mean I didn't want to act on them. I wanted I to act on them, but I never did. I thought your duty of being an advisor was just way too high up on the scale that it you didn't was. even imagine yes, but that is, that dating is not, no, or I, marriage. That was my view of it. But I, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing your feelings now. Interesting. The, it, I... <sighs> It's one of those hard things, and I think the reason why, honestly, I'm probably most upset with Karma is because I can totally see myself in her shoes. Because I, too, am someone who puts my own kingdom first before anything else. Mm -hmm. But I also think that is what makes me so incredibly mad at her, because she's just being a dunce about it, and it's just... Mm. She has no tact. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm getting, well, deja deja I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I just... And again, I'm sorry. I'm speaking bad about your wife. I mean, you know, maybe you don't want to hear it. I'm just... You're... You're okay. Like I said, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I think that's my... That's a chicken. Hello, chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's a real chicken, too. I don't think it's a fake one. How, you've seen fake chickens before? Are they like the Trojan horses of the Nether Kingdom? Oops. I can't open a door and throw a chicken out at the same time. 
I think the chicken is from my children's room. I oh, did you just kill a chicken? No, I was about to throw that? it off the balcony. <laughs> Let's just say if you can do that, that'd be quite crazy. I don't think this will kill it. I think it'll just gently float. Yes, down. It'll, it'll float. Oh, I can't even do it. Excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna fa don't. fall off myself. Hey. Okay. Oh, this is not okay. There. Bye. Oh, I did fall. <laughs> Fine. Uh... Have fun scaling back up the castle because we actually have a very defensive perimeter. Oh, that's actually really easy. <laughs> <laughs> the monitor, you still keep my telepaths on you at all times. Uh, let's see, who else do I have? I don't have, for some reason, I don't have yours. Oh, I don't have the materials to make one. It's okay. <laughs> That reminds me, Cinder, I, I gave Cinder a, a telepass, but then he sent me this really sweet message being like, Mr. Kano, my telepass fell in the lava, and so here is, so here is resources, please make me telepass, and here's mine, have a good day. It was the most adorable thing. He, <laughs> he's a very sweet child when he's not wanting to burn everything. Uh-huh. He almost, uh, set me, he, he almost, I'm gonna be honest, he almost murdered me. He almost killed me. I do uh, remember that. Yeah, he almost killed Kaya, too. So. I also I did remember hear that. that one, yes. Yeah, but, I oh. mean. He's got your I, hutzpah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not You're from karma, what? I'll tell him that. It's the hutzpah. What language are you speaking? Know. It's just, you know, it's like the gusto, the the genesis qua, you know, he's got the... I don't know this link. <laughs> he's speaking, but clearly nothing's we didn't, coming clearly out. Clearly we didn't go through linguistic studies well enough in your training. I don't think we ever touched linguistics. I guess we just had to talk about the really important things. We only had, like, how many weeks, days? We didn't even give you a crash course, did we? It's pretty much every day. No, it was more like, play. here, good luck. <laughs> I did not just say good luck. We had a lot of things to do. <laughs> well, we had a lot of things to do, and it was a lot of just taking care of the kingdom first and forehand yes, without, like, doing correct. any of the more detailed training that heirs do. Correct. Because I had to take care of the kingdom. I know. I Don't feel I'm... bad. I never got it either. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should have been Anthony. You're in charge now, and then we just let him rule the whole kingdom in that time. <gasps> You know, he was always saying that he wished he took the throne. He was no, telling me I that a couple lies. days up to, like, my coronation. What? He really was. He really? really was saying that, yeah, like, days before my coronation, he was like, oh, I wish I took the throne. And I'm just like, too late! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's only because he got married. <laughs> and then was like, I should have taken the throne. Uh, well, he didn't really get a choice in the matter, so I can't really blame him. Well, I understand. Yeah. Part of that me was, wishes I was... went to war, but then again. Yeah. Was that that was Maholia's decision, right? Not yours, or was it yours? Ugh, mm. What decision? That whole agree, Marina. The, the well, actually, no. no I'm delusional. Sorry, because no, they forced us to. Mm -hmm. was, yeah. And also. Yeah, I know it was a long time ago. I know five years was a long time ago. I know. But Maholi was dead for two years. Yes. So what are you asking? What's... I don't know. I, <laughs> okay. I was getting my stories mixed up in my head. This has been so long since I had to think about Maholi this. Maholi died seven years that. ago. That's math. I know. Okay. Yes, okay. Two I'm plus so five more. equals seven. I know. <laughs> I used to keep track of the days, but I don't have that in my head anymore. <sighs> yeah. Oh, my child is wanting a conversation. Which one? Dahlia. Oh. She. Do you want to go talk to her for a little bit? I don't know. Um, talking to you two has cheered me up a little bit. I knew I wanted to be around family. Um. Yeah, we don't see you very much anymore. But, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I don't know, the nether's kind of lonely right now, so. 
fair. Um, I did want to check out the cathedral and just look at it. Um, and then I did want to speak to Kaya. So if you guys want to go to Dahlia, that's fine. I don't know if I can pretend to be happy around children right now. It's okay. And don't um, just tell them how sad you are, and they'll all be like, "Oh, <laughs> Miss Melody, I it's okay." I don't want to put pat. them on that. I don't want to put that on them. Mm -hmm. That's I don't know. Fair. Oh, you might want to see something that was like cute, though. Um. Uh. Okay, so Lillian, I was gonna go get a book. I don't want to walk up the oh. stairs again. Mm. Um, Lillian and Willow sent me a little like book and a little like thing. Where is it? I can go fetch it and... for you if you'd like. You don't have to go up the stairs. Uh, I can grab it for you. It might be in here. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Two cinder. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute. I'm just gonna rifle through this, all sorry. my books. Yes, I am. Can we? Because you're because you're too ill to come upstairs a second you? time. So I'm, why are you, you're not supposed to come up here? Oh, they're in here. I see. They are. Is it? Uh, is it still oh. Lily? It's in this parent one. That one. Right. Yeah, that one. This one. Yeah. This one. I don't know what it's about, but it's gonna be really cute. Oh, like a little play date. Yeah, oh, they're gonna. Cute. I think. I think Willow's gonna ask Cinder to the kids' ball. Oh, it's adorable. It's so cute. I set up a time to meet and everything already. Cause I want to do that for him. He really wants to make more friends. So. Yeah, that was cute. But, yeah. My books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at all your books now. <laughs> mm. Sorry. I mean, there's Sorry, more just, in uh, here. I think I just was really. I was looking too far. I was like, I, I can't click on curious. these. I get Didn't work. Yeah. That's completely yeah. fair. There's but, more story books on the other one, but um, yeah. At least you know I don't go prying through things anymore because I had no idea what any of those things were. Anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore he says. you all you all are well aware you all are well aware oh, i know I i'm aware you. but you, can't, you don't know what's it. in my chests anymore because it's far 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 away from you that's true but i'm sure if i really wanted to i just have to ask fang and he would tell me no well actually i already know he was looking through our house because i already know he saw me as well <sighs> mm -hmm. fang i think also stole from karma i'm gonna be honest i think really that... He like they like, she had something he didn't want her to have. I think it was like weather skulls or something. Uh, and oh, he just took them away. So what happened is that they were given they're listed in the will to be under Fang's name and they were in more shuffled boxes that she set down before oh. she got taken. Oh, okay. And he didn't want them just there for anyone to grab. I didn't want anything to do with them um karma doesn't want to read or know about the will which makes it complicated because like i said there was important things i had to give to lucario right to help run the kingdom because some of the stuff is you know things that the princess needs to run the kingdom um but yeah, she's she didn't want any personal items, like swords and pickaxes and things like that, given out. Um, so I'm yeah. honoring her wishes right now. Um, I don't know how long she intends to wait, but those items, you know, we they're not of necess necessity. But I thought I gave out what other items that. I asked, I to, I just, that's what I talked to her about before I came to here, was asking right. what, what is okay cons and what can be necessary versus what isn't. Right, yeah. 
I, I do respect her wish to take more time. We have been searching for Lady Lena for considerably longer than High Lady Morgan. And uh, with equal amounts of patience. So yeah. I think if Morgan can do the same for Lena, then we can certainly do the same for Morgan. Yeah. But, um... Okay, well... Um... You said Dahlia wanted to talk with you? Mm hmm She's in the library. I see. Do you wish to join me? Or, sorry, do you wish me to join for you? With you? Or uh, would you prefer me to go with you? Maybe? I can go to Cathedral by myself and... Because I'm going to meet up with Kaya later. Okay. Do you want to go to talk to Dahlia? I mean, that's up to you. I can do either. Um, so I... I, I I, I don't even have to join if you don't like. If you'd like to have a private conversation with her, then I'm... I don't have to be there. I mean, I don't mind if you're there. It's up to you, so... Well, perhaps I can judge her interest on going on an adventure with me sometime. Okay. Alright, well, um, then I will talk to you later. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Don't later. be a stranger. Talk talk sooner rather than later. Yeah. I I will. Yeah. Let let me know if you need anything. I will. Thanks. <sighs> I do feel a little bit better. But I also don't know how to feel. I feel numb, tired, hungry. I don't want to give up looking, but I also don't know what to do. I feel terrible for being tired. And there's already so much that I've missed. even know okay. just in case sorry Talking? Can't hear you. I'm not talking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I 
I just really need a hug right now. Like me to give you one? Yes. <laughs> okay. I let it out. I know. <laughs> I can't. I'm so tired. That I can't find her. I don't know what to do. Or how to feel. I read her will. <laughs> and I'm mad at myself for it. Why? Because it's like I'm giving up. It's like I'm accepting that she's dead. And I hate myself for that. I don't think it's you giving. <sighs> I I think it's the complete opposite. I don't know what to do. I feel so powerless. I feel so hopeless. I don't- I'm not I... asking you- Sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You go first. I'm not trying to have you give me all the answers. I just, I, I feel like I couldn't let up my feelings to anyone else. I saw you're in a group with Kano and Anna. Yeah, I was checking up on Annabelle because I heard from Karma that she was not feeling well. Yeah, she's not she doing great. That she was possibly poisoned or cursed by her own mother. Yeah. And I just can't. I don't know what the twin curse exactly is. But every time something like this happens. I feel responsible. And I know, I know what you're going to say. And deep, deep down, I know that I'm not. But it's like a voice in my head that's just saying over and over again, this is your fault. This is your fault. I know how that feels. It still feels like I'm being punished for being alive.
everyone around me is leaving. I didn't want to share it. I didn't want to show it in front of Annabelle, but... If her mother is willing to poison her, I'm worried she's going to do worse. Maybe this whole ball plan, maybe this is a terrible idea. I don't know. Unfortunately, I have no idea what Amara is planning. But I can assure you, I will not let her lay a fucking finger on Annabelle. <sighs> I can't lose. I can't lose anybody else. I can't. I'm sorry. I just need... Don't apologize. I heard lots of things have happened since I've been gone. Mm-hmm. Are you doing okay, too? Um, you know, I thought I would be worse after killing a man. Feel the same. I didn't know you killed somebody. Um, did Annabelle tell you about Cola, Aspen? I did hear about them, I just didn't know. I sounded like Max was the one who killed somebody. I don't know who exactly. Max, do you know the whole story? Not, they didn't go into too much detail. I just know that someone Ma was thrown in jail, someone escaped. Hola, I went invisible, went into my room, stole my turnium, told Max he just found it. Max found out, arrested Cola, Aspen freed Cola. Cola was executed by Max two days later. Um, Max challenged Aspen to a 1v1 duel. I killed Aspen. And Pola, not Pola, pulled, jumped into the void. I see. Yeah. Kano did talk about how the winter was going through a lot right now. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to tell anybody yet, though. But I killed Asp. I don't. I don't know if the got. I uh, she didn't say that specifically, so I don't know if she knows or not. But okay. Um. Yeah. When she gets better, not that, not that important. It seems like the seraphs and the mermaids are the only ones who don't have things going on. Well, Audrey. Is um first? What? To my understanding, I I don't know what it is, but so she Audrey has this this puffer fish that tells her to do things, and apparently, it told her to uh harm Lucida. Oh. So, I, uh, then Marina put her, um, in prison. I'm assuming she's still there. Audrey's in prison? In, in the Mermaid Kingdom. In the Mermaid Kingdom? I don't know if she's still there, but oh, shoot, that's I what wish... happened that night. I wish Marina was still here.
Oh, I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. It's kind of been. So are the, the Seraphs the only kingdom who are not going through things right now? I suppose so. Seems oddly suspicious to me, but maybe I'm just biased. <laughs> Well, uh, the Seraphs did have a death that might contribute to it. Um, who died? Australia. I don't think I ever officially met them. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you did. I, I did. Um, anyway. Anyway. <sighs> I don't feel like going back to the nether right now. At this moment in time. I stay here. Sure, if you don't mind me camping out in your yard. <laughs> in the yard? Go inside. <laughs> well... Okay, I'll sleep here. No, no, get um like Ouch. Ouch. Why are you taking tips? Anyway. But you live here. Live is a relative term. This is more of a place I go where I need to get away, but otherwise I just I need stay to stop in living in your getaway vacation homes. <laughs> Amara's not gonna oh. show up at the front door, is she? <laughs> she better fucking not. She doesn't know about this location. You shouldn't know. Oh, she doesn't know. Really that doesn't really sound very confident. Oh, tell well, us. Oh. Not cop. Oh, who's? Oh. I'm just looking because I'm curious. You don't really have a lot. There's a here. there's a one full of food that I. Should actually use because I need bread. Take anything you want. Okay. I don't remember the stuff is here. Okay. Well, then, if you don't mind, as long as I'm not getting kidnapped oh. in my sleep. Um. You'll be fine. <laughs> that sounded so confident. Sorry, that sounded. So... I mind is fast. It's okay. All right. Well, I haven't slept in like weeks. Yeah. So yeah. you might not see me in a couple days because I'm That's afraid fine. if I touch one of these, I might not get back up in a while. That's fine. Okay. Well, thank you. And sorry to. Like at, at this point, you don't need to thank me. I feel like. It's... Oh. I, did you just give this to me? Yes. Oh. Okay. I have so. You know what? Just take another. I don't I, know what to do I with have, these. I have so many as well. I don't know what to do with them. Okay, well, I'll I'm running them. out of space in my room. <laughs> Have fill up a chest. Here, d you can take you can take these. Well, two. actually, I'll take I'll take this. I I no I I don't want this. I have you can have that. Um, oh, I meant to go. I wanted to go to Evergreen to get emeralds. Oh well. 
What'd you need emeralds for? I just noticed I got a notification that Evergreen really likes I mean, their taxes. So no one's no one's in Evergreen, but I just have to go just around by the school. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna rest, and I'll worry about it later. Uh, yeah. Right. Good night. Good night. And that's all for this episode. If you like this episode of Princess s &P, please let me know in the comments below. Sorry that it's kind of semi-depressing. Hope it, it will get better soon, I promise. I don't know how, but it will. Even if more doesn't come back. Ugh, I don't want to say that, but ugh. We don't know yet. I'm telling you right now, I don't know. When, if, or who, what. Alright. But we can only keep our hopes up. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.